Alrighty. Hey gang. Welcome back. Episode 26 of Zero Carb Journal. Welcome you guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening and following along and supporting me and all your lovely comments. I sure appreciate it as always. So hey gang. <laughs> How you guys doing? Alright. Me too. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well actually. I'm having a great uh Great week, great Sunday morning. It's Sunday. It's uh, coming up on 7 o'clock pretty early. I was going to do this outside, but it keeps changing between glorious sun and pouring rain. So um, I think I'll stay inside for the moment, keep my camera dry. And uh, yeah, so welcome back, you guys. Episode 26. I'm Matt. As you guys know, I'm here sharing my story about eating nothing but meat for the last oh 16 17 18 months something like that <clears throat> and uh you know my goal here is to just provide an example and information for those of you who are curious about trying this and and uh as you guys know if you've watched any of my early ones you know i had a real hard time i was real sick and real scared and couldn't find any help or information um, that applied to my situation and and really uh, am motivated to share my story in hopes that someone out there finds some information that they can use to help them on their path and journey to getting better and find their own health and fitness. So that's my, those are my goals and this is Zero Carb Journal and that's what I'm doing. So it's uh, been a, quite a few weeks now, 26 of me doing this and uh, as you guys know I've been working hard and focused on some other stuff, haven't really had my head in this game 100%. Um, and you know, I am really hoping that this is still valuable to you guys, I guess. Um, I'm finding it really valuable for me, uh, just to, from a journaling standpoint, it feels great to round up my weeks or, um, wrap up my weeks and put my head to it, think about it. And, um, yeah, you know, keep it in my conscious mind that, uh, that my goal is my number one goal is my health and fitness and um i'm still going down this path and as i think robin said uh, teasing out all the details and figuring out what works and what doesn't because as i go i'm learning that there's quite a few little subtleties that uh that i am still picking up on as i go things like uh eggs you know i ate eggs for the last year and for the most part until i dropped them and added them back in and dropped them, added them back in a few times and started to realize they were causing me some uh, fairly significant issues, I think. So even as far along as I am down this path, I still am learning quite a bit. And so I'm still interested in uh, sharing these discoveries with you and sharing my progress. So anyways, thanks so much for listening and watching and all you guys. I just appreciate it so much. So I guess I'm just feeling like... Uh, I've said the same things over and over, so I'm hoping that it still has value and I'm expressing that. Um, yeah, so I'm just waking up, as you can tell, getting my brain going. Um, as usual, I haven't had much of a chance to storyboard and I don't have much of a theme for this one. I have been thinking about these themes and, and things and I do want to get back to some theme ones and some longer ones, but I keep getting buried in work. So uh, real quick, my week from a work standpoint. Um, just so you know what I'm up to, uh, you know, I've been hoping to wrap up this boat I'm working on and I did almost nothing on that boat this week. So it's basically in the same place and, you know, I've been waiting for finishing and, um, plumbing and other guys to get in there, other departments and get ahead on their work so I can get caught up. And unfortunately they've all been so busy finishing out the other boats that are due first that the boat that I'm contracted for is just kind of waiting in the wings and it's getting later it's it's still on time but uh their departments might push it out into the late window but due to all that they had two boats this shop that i'm working i had two boats to deliver this week and so i got kind of sucked into the whirlpool of those two jobs they were big hurries and uh those guys um give me a lot of uh credit I guess and respect and they um, feel like I'm a problem solver so when it gets right down to the wire and things get a little hairy I usually end up getting called in so yeah so I did almost 50 hours this week it's, it's Sunday I worked yesterday right through the day as well 
Um, and all of those, none of those hours were on my contracted boat, uh, with the exception of, I think four. So that's great actually, because as I, when I started this contract, I think I told you guys, my goal was to pay off a pretty significant amount of debt that I had accrued over the last few years. When I was real sick, I stopped working. You know, I wasn't able to go to work. I'm an independent contractor. So I stopped taking jobs and uh, I built up quite a bit of debt. I built this uh, little house for myself, um, rented out my place, sold all the stuff I owned. And, you know, you guys have heard the story. Um, but over that time, you know, I was going to the doctor every other week and uh, real fatigued and really wasn't able to generate significant income. So I got myself into some debt. So my goal has always been to pay that off. So I am that close. And I'm pretty sure actually that now I've invoiced over uh, my, my goal amount and I'm going to get there for sure. And this 50 hours of this week was crucial to that. So I don't think I was going to get enough hours in on my boat cause it's almost done. So I'm happy to have this extra work and I'm taking it and I'm ha really happy to be able to help this company out and all the boys on the boat, they're getting pretty beat down. They've been working 10 hour days, uh, without a weekend break since Memorial day for the last two weekends trying to deliver these boats on time and uh so i'm getting in there and doing what i can and you know i'm really enjoying it actually as always i'm really enjoying the the quality time or collaborative time you know working together with the guys on this boat hanging out with these young fellas and um becoming pretty close with a, with a lot of the guys and and it's been really good for me you know i didn't have much social interaction for the last two years um and going zero carb then really made me feel pretty alienated for a while and so this has been a great run and i'm still really enjoying that you know yesterday they called and were like we really could use you and i um found myself surprisingly eager to go hang out with the dudes and get stuff done so i guess i'm enjoying it um getting pretty beat up i do end up really fatigued um but I'm able to put in long days and my work capacity is incredibly um, high and much higher than it was even back when I thought I was okay and working three and four years ago. Um, I'm just way more capable now than I was then and that's thanks to zero carb. My joints don't hurt. My attitude and, and um, you know, mental state stays even and level and yeah, I just really feel like um like i'm capable of a lot more work and i'm much more productive so still finding that to be the case and it's been pretty profound very um welcome and and pretty obvious to me how much better i'm doing so that's been great and it makes work quite a bit more enjoyable when i'm not <laughs> crying about swollen hands and i'm able to squeeze my crimpers and all that stuff so that's been really nice um and yeah, it's going to end soon, and I'm looking forward to that too. Now, I did get more emails this week from one of the other big boat builders in town, one of my other customers. I've told you this. He's really hot for me. He's got a bunch of boats stacked up. and So I let him know I was reluctant to schedule until these boats were done. And as he knows, as a boat builder, the last few weeks, uh, you just never know how long it's going to take. And they're always late. <laughs> I think that's the name of, of the game with boat work is, is it's always late hard to tell how long it's going to take. And so I hate that feeling of being double booked. So I didn't book or schedule with him. Um, and I am going to take a little break between after this job winds down, but I might get back in there and take some more, a few more weeks of work at this other shop. Uh, one, cause I want to maintain that relationship. And two, because, you know, these jobs don't come around very often for me. I charge these guys a lot. They're reluctant to pull me into the shop. They only do it when they really need me, and that seems to only happen spring, summer, delivery time, every year, every other year, depending on the economy. And everyone in town right now, all the boat builders are slammed. So it's a great opportunity. I always say those hours are just lying there. Um, and, you know, they're there until the boat leaves, as many as I want, and I can just go grab them. And so... Yeah, while I know I need a rest and I really want to focus on some other stuff around here, I might get back in there and do another few weeks or another month. You know, the reality is, is uh, one month of work, especially once I'm out of debt, if I can sock that away, that might mean a whole winter for me of not working. So, yeah, we'll see how I feel. It's, I guess it all depends on how my body feels and what I want to do with my time. Um, I've got a lot of projects around here I'd like to get to, but as time, spring goes slipping away here a lot of them are just 
I'm going to have to let go till next year. And, and that's okay. Cause I am, you know, my number one goal after my health is uh, getting out of debt and getting myself financially on track here. Cause I really got myself pretty off track and I really never was on track <laughs> prior to, uh, putting myself together here in my late forties, you know, this discovering I was sick and, uh, restructuring my life around my health. And I've learned a lot about myself and, and I'm, uh, a more disciplined and better person all the way around. And zero carb is helping that as well. Giving me, uh, presence of mind and clarity and, um, you know, sort of firmness in, um, in my will and uh, the ability to really focus on goals and, and move towards them. So that's something that's new to me uh, and Zero Carb has helped. And so, yeah, so I guess I'm just still getting better and growing up, <laughs> almost 50. One of these days, maybe I'll be an adult and, uh, you know, so I may take the work opportunity, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And we'll see how I, how I do there. So Zero Carb, let's talk about food. You know, I, again, just stayed it, kept it pretty simple. I did continue to experiment with bacon and cheese, my new uh, additions. Feeling like no problem, you guys. Cheese, I ate t- two days in a row last week, and I felt great. It does, I can tell it's got that quality of, of plugging me up a little bit. And while that seems like it would be a good thing, since I usually have really loose stool, it doesn't, it, it's nothing uncomfortable, but it just means that sometimes I might spend more time in the bathroom and maybe take, have more visits to the bathroom during the workday. I noticed that about, uh, after the second day of eating cheese, by the third day there, I, you know, was, um, spending a few more, a few more trips to the bathroom in the morning and yeah, it's all good. Nothing uncomfortable, like I said, but, uh, it's different a little bit, um, But nonetheless, I am, you know, going to keep cheese in there as an occasional thing um, and not be scared of it, it seems like. I have been only eating older cheeses, and I think I'll stick with that. Um, But yeah, it feels great to uh, add some stuff in. The boys had a barbecue down at the boat one day, and they had some halibut, halibut season here. So we got fresh halibut coming off the docks all day while we're down there, and so we had some fresh halibut. And it was too much to resist, and they put salt and pepper on there, and I ate that. And again, I didn't just had a few bites, but it was fine. But it felt really good, you guys, to be able to accept, you know, some offered food and hang out with some other people in a social setting and eat eat food that was offered to me. And um, yeah, that was the first time that's happened, really, since I've changed over Zero Carb, and it felt wonderful. to be feeling loose enough and, and comfortable enough in my health and what I've discovered to to partake in that and, and participate. <clears throat> so yeah, so I'm kind of opening up a little bit, I guess, and feeling good about it. My energy's been great. Didn't have a sick day this week. Um, mostly just ate my burgers, ate some thin rib pie, some thin chuck steaks, been eating some short ribs, flank and style. They've had them on sale, so I cook the crap out of them and um, been enjoying those. Did I have anything else this week? I don't think so. I think just those things. Seems like there's something else, but that's all I can remember right now. Really enjoying uh, the really thin chuck steaks. That's one of my favorites I'm finding. And I'm also finding that as much as I always have always said I cook all the fat out and I'm really eating pretty lean, I'm finding that I'm not eating as lean as I had thought. I can really tell now when I buy the 80-20 ground beef, it tastes pretty lean. This new store that I've been going to, the the real cheap ground beef they have is 73-27. And when I go back to 80-20, it seems incredibly lean now. And I'm finding that adding the cheese, adding the bacon, eating the real um, real fatty chuck steaks. I can tell they're really greasy. Um, I, you know, when I, when those, it's not that I feel better after eating them. It's that I can tell when I'm eating them that they are more satisfying. It doesn't seem as dry as the leaner meats and my body seems to prefer it. So 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm becoming more aware of what I'm actually doing or if I'm changing what I, if, if my tastes are changing and what I like and I am eating more fat. I'm not really sure. Maybe I was eating really lean before. I think I was, but it's hard to say. Um, but it seems like I'm still changing and making progress as I go here. So um, that's been fun to sort of pay attention to and note. And I am def definitely going to the grocery store now and, and making sure I throw a truck steak or something fatty in, in the basket there um, to add to, you know, my burgers. So um, that's been great, you know. Uh, I've still been looking forward to my meals every day and feeling really good after I eat them. And like I said, no sick days this week. Um, tried to avoid one meal a day as much as I could. Even on the days I worked long, I would come home and eat a little bit right when I got home and then eat again like three hours, three hours later. And that seems to be working a lot better for me. I did, uh, do one meal a day, a couple week days this week, and I just didn't eat very much. I just forced myself to stop and I went to bed actually a little hungry, but it felt better. So I do think that was a big part of it for me. One meal a day, um, particularly eating the, ground beef. I just think I was overloading my system with uh, tendons and connective tissue and stuff. That seems like the issue. I would get that six hour later um, nausea. And I really feel like it was just straight overeating um, things that are difficult for me to process, which I believe is the tougher fatty bits and the gristle and the tendons and things like that. So so that seems to be working, and I'm going to stick to that plan So and see how I am go going forward. Now, I am gaining some weight. Um, I haven't been weighing myself, but I can just tell my pants are tight. I'm a little bigger than I was, and that's all fine. You know, a lot of that, I just haven't been putting the time into my workout, and it's now stretching into quite a bit of time that I'm really slacking on my fitness. I haven't really done any cardio. I went for a bike ride a couple weeks ago, but I keep wanting to put in some long cardio sessions do some big long workouts and I keep thinking I'm going to be done with work and, and finally get time to do it so I don't bother trying to fit it into my work week. Um, and I, my work week just keeps on stretching out so I haven't got back to it. So um, I'm eating probably a little more than I need to be for this, uh, you know, for what I'm doing. Um, and I do feel like I'm gaining a little weight, but all my pants still mostly fit and as I've found in the past I find it real easy to lose any weight if I feel like I need to on this way of eating once I put my mind to it so I'm just continuing to eat a lot and not worry about my weight and uh, in a week or two here when I wrap up the boat work I'm gonna go back to some you know good long hard workouts I'm really looking forward to a good long cycle if I take that next job I think I'll reschedule myself around uh, these workouts because I need to get them back into my program and uh, see if I can't get back on to my, you know, pushing hard program. And we're going to roll into some warm summer here. And I'm sure I'll be out on my bike quite a bit as I find the time to do that. So not too concerned about uh, being a little more sedentary lately. And well, not sedentary. I've been working my butt off, but just not able to focus on my fitness goals as much. So It'll come, um, but I'm finding it interesting that I can gain weight eating this way of, uh, on this way of eating. I'm finding that actually pretty encouraging because that was something that was challenging for me in the past. And I'm also eating to satiety, and sometimes that's quite a bit, um, and including cheese and bacon, and you know, eating a lot of calories. I'm sure, and <clears throat> I don't feel like um, gaining weight at any rapid rate I you know probably last time I weighed myself I was still basically the same weight I was but I think I might just be getting a little bigger in the middle <laughs> um I don't know I again it's mostly perception because I'm not really weighing myself pants just feel a little snug and I can just tell that I'm a little softer than I was when I do my workouts I'm losing capacity a little bit so I'm ready to get back to that and I think I expressed that last week as well so it must be true <clears throat> excuse me as I get my morning throat cleared out there um so yeah so food has been the same um i've been feeling great energy's great and i don't really have much else to share you guys it's sunday morning as i normally do i'm just gonna rest up today i did as i said worked yesterday so i'm pretty tired and i'm gonna you know hopefully it's not gonna rain all day and i can sit in the sun and do some stuff outside i've got a few things i'd like to do i'd like to mow and 
um, you know, just kind of putter around. But it might rain all day. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll just rest um, and do nothing and get ready for one more long week, I would imagine. So those two, two boats are delivered, and that means that my boat is the next one to go. So I should be making some progress on it, and I imagine I'll get kicked out of there. Um, maybe not by the end of this week, because I don't think the boat is delivered until the week after, and I'll probably stay on till then, but I probably won't have a whole lot of hours this week. We'll see. If I don't have a whole lot of hours, I'm going to come back home and get to some fencing projects. I've still got a ton of fencing to do. Uh, my bull was in the road again this week. I have had some uh, neighborhood dogs in there chasing my sheep around and, you know, some problems here I need to take care of and some projects I don't want to move forward on. So I'll be back to fencing and back to farm chores and I really want to get that done as well so I can kind of settle into my summer once I'm done with the boat work and um, move on to some some other things, making some videos for you guys uh making some headway up here in my in my shack um getting myself ready for the winter i'm getting behind on firewood and that's scary so i need to get get going on that although i could just buy some um instead of putting my time in i could just go put some time in on the boats but uh, i have a lot of wood on the property here i'd like to get down and get into the woodshed so um for various reasons not just for firewood i'm making daylight for areas and clearing and things like that so but it's a lot of work takes a lot of time <clears throat> takes a lot of energy we'll see if i get time to do it and once it gets real hot uh i usually lose interest <laughs> in running the chainsaw once it's you know really really hot out there um because i want to wear boat shoes and shorts <laughs> and not uh double waxed canvas coveralls and cork boots and all that stuff so i don't know we'll see how it goes maybe i'll just suck it up and buy some but anyway, it's got lots of stuff to take care of around here. I can't wait to share it with you guys. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's enough for today. I'm trying to think of your guys' questions, but I have not had any time. You guys, and I apologize. I, I really want to get back to being more interactive with you guys, but uh, I just haven't been spending any time online almost at all. Um, this weekly video seems like about the most computer time I spend doing the editing and uploading and, you know, trying to catch up a little bit on comments, but really, I'm up early in the morning, squeezing a little workout in, off to work, uh, home at five in the evening this, uh, week, cooking dinner and going right to bed for the most part, feeding the dogs, cleaning up a little bit, you know, taking care of stuff. And then I'm in bed by eight. So yeah, my internet time is really short and I apologize. I know that I've been missing interacting with you guys. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that, but it'll come all in good time. Really focused on my goals right now and, and focused on moving forward. And I appreciate that y'all are hanging in there with me um, as I go through this process because uh, I do want to get back to spending some more time with you and putting some more attention into interacting with all of you folks and seeing if I can help you. And, and really, you know, a big part of it is how much help you guys offer me. I love reading deeper into your comments and interacting. And I always learn so much from all of you. So thank you guys very much for all your interaction as always. And I really hope everyone out there is feeling as well as I am and moving forward towards your goals. Hopefully uh, zero carb is um, proving to be as profound for you as it has been for me. And if there's anything I can offer in way of help or support, let me know. I'll do my best. And yeah, so that's enough for now, you guys. Thanks, as always, for your support, comments, for watching and listening. Uh, I can't tell you how much it means to me. It really made a big difference in my life. So this sharing this diary has been one of the most profound uh, things in my life over the last few years. It's really helping me immensely. So thank you as always, and hope you guys have a great week. And I'll plan on doing the same, and I'll get you caught up next week with all the latest. And hopefully before too long, we'll be back here to uh, the homestead and puttering around and doing some more homestead stuff, which is way more fun than building boats. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, have a great week. Thanks for watching. See ya.